Tony, uh, Temple of Boom runs on Saturday in the Lightning. How did he come off the break? Yeah, no, he's had um, a great preparation. We've set him for these two races of Lightning in the new market, and so far, preparation's been faultless. He was terrific up the straight last spring, uh, and is that why you've targeted these two races? Yeah, definitely. He's um, proven he's fairly good up the straight, and um, the only unfortunate thing was we uh, thought the tracks would be firm here at this time of the year, and we obviously like a bit of sting out, but uh, the horse is going very well. And does having black caviar in the race change the dynamics over for you? Oh, well, it certainly makes it a lot harder to win, that's for sure. Benny plans to knock her down? <laughs> no chance. <laughs> so the new market after this, and then is there plans to head to, say, Sydney or a break to Queensland? What's the ultimate aim? Uh, we'll just have a look at the weather after these two runs here. If, if Sydney is getting a uh, wet autumn, we'll, um, we might poke through there, maybe for a race like the Galaxy. Uh, if not, we'll just head back to Queensland and, and progress probably towards the Stradbroke. And when you say you want a bit of sting out of the ground, if it comes up, say, a good three on Saturday, is that going to be an issue or will he still run? Oh, no, no, he'll still run. Like, he, he has one on good threes, but um, if you look at his record, he's just a superior wet tracker. He's, had, he's probably um, just a bit better with the rain effect going. So what's your expectations then for Saturday, given you taking on the two best sprinters in the country? I would wish want to see him uh, give 100%, and if that's the case, we're, we're sure he can be competitive. Um, then he drops back um, to handicap conditions of the new market where he should be really nicely placed. Thank <laughs> you.